Hey, fifth grade, how are you? Um, we're back at Studio B. Can you believe it? Okay, so uh, the last video was Monday. May the 4th be with you. Today's May 6th, Wednesday. Okay, so um, remember what I said about Monday. Monday was we put all of Module 2 into Monday. So I said Wednesday we're going to do Module 3. So here we are. Just so you know, Module 3, there are some review pages like Home Connections is just total review. So I'm not going to be discussing too much of Home Connections. Um, but what we're going to do today is volume, okay? And I remember when you guys were fourth graders last year, we did touch on this um, when I was in your class uh, last year. So this might be a little bit of review too, but we're, we're going to be looking at volume today, okay? So if you start off, I'm just reviewing here. Today's video is uh, May 6, Wednesday. We're doing Unit 6, Module 3, and we're doing Sessions 1, 2, and 3. And then we'll do four and five uh, when we get back uh, next Monday. So if you can envision what I've done here, this is a box that's this side's open. Okay, so these are side walls, side walls, back wall. And this is a box with a baseball in it. Okay, so picture that. And so we're packing boxes. We're Amazon and we're packing baseballs in boxes. Okay, so let's review. So we know the area of the base is length times width, whatever one is whatever. Uh, length times width gives you the area of the base of the box. Okay, it also gives you, if we were using inches for instance, we would do length times width, and we, we, we would know how many square inches would fit on this board, this cardboard, okay? But instead, we are using baseball boxes, okay? So length times width gives you how many baseball boxes would fit on this bottom part of the box. And Bridges calls that a layer. Okay, so where you see layers, that's height. That's going to be height. Layers is how high it goes. Okay, so let's do an example. Oh, and I put here, what about the units we're using? Well, for now, uh, I believe it's pages 231 and 232, um, you're using boxes as units. Okay. Uh, so here, I split these up because that's kind of what Bridges is doing on pages 231 and 232, okay? So we're talking about layers of baseballs, okay? And length times width, width is, you know, three boxes by three boxes, okay? So that's also the layer. So if we look at this, just picture three boxes of baseballs this way, three boxes this way, that gives you nine boxes for the bottom layer. Now the height, or layers, is how high does it go? So if we had a three by three base layer, and the height is three layers, okay, we can fit, obviously, three times three times three, 27 baseball boxes in the big box, okay? So what if we did, what if we could fit one, two, three, four, four along here and three across here? Now we have a four by three, so we have 12 on the base layer. And then, well, we got a bigger box. We, it goes six layers high. So the, we're like doubling the height all the way around and it goes six layers, okay? So uh, 12 times three, the first one would be 36 boxes. And if we double the height, that 36 boxes doubles. So we go from 36 boxes to 72 boxes, okay? 
just we doubled the layers. It's almost like we put two of these boxes into one, which is kind of what we did. Okay. So once again, we're talking about volume. Volume is three dimensional. Length times width times height. Now remember when we did area, length times width was two dimensional. It was like, oh, how many one inch boxes fit on this piece of paper, for instance. Well, now we added height, and now it's three-dimensional. So now it's cubes. Now it's how many cubes are there, okay? So that's why they call it cubic inches, uh, inches to the three cubic inches, inches cubed, okay? So I just put up, what if we had a box, instead of uh, baseball boxes, we had 16 inches, times 12 inches is length times width, which is 192 inches squared, because we have one inch here, one inch here. Now we're saying there's 192 square inches in some uh, base area that we're talking about. Then we add the height. How many layers are there? So this goes, remember, this is inches squared. We have another inch here. So inches cubed, and it's 1,536 after you multiply 192 times 8. So that's how many 1 inch by 1 inch by 1 inch cubes would fit in whatever container we're talking about. It's 6, six inches long, 12 inches wide, 8 inches high. This is how many cubic cubes, inches, would fit in that box. Okay? So... On 231, 232, they're doing something like this. So, and they have this all boxed in. You'll see it when you go to it. Um, so this, they're putting length times width together to give you the number of balls in the layer, the bottom layer. And then the height gives you, um, after you multiply, will give you the total number in that box or whatever uh, dimensions they give you for each box. So this is for 231, 232, this is pretty much all you're doing. They're um, making you think about um, if you put length times width together and then times height. All right. Now 233, I thought you might have a question on 233. Uh, it's graphing. So they show you that 1 times 1 times 1, so volume, okay? 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, and the number we're talking about is 1. So the, the x is whatever number you are cubing, okay? So on the, on the chart, um, 1 comma 1 is 1 times 1 times 1. If you're not quite getting me, look at 2. Okay, we're talking about the number 2, and 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So you graph over 2, up 8. Now, I'm not going to do any more except 5 because they don't even touch 5 on the graph. It's there, but they don't even show you 5. So let's look at 5. So we're talking about the number 5, and we're going to cube 5. So 5 times 5 is 25 times five more is 125. So if the graph was big enough, you would do five over all the way up to 125. Anyway, that's what you're doing on page 233, okay? 234 is just volume problems. Um, just follow along everything we did and there'll be no problem. 235 is a general review. And then you're gonna skip um, the workplace for 236, 237, you're going to go to 238, and it's more volume problems, okay? Now, if you take a look at the homework for um, today's Wednesday, so you have till Sunday, you have 231 through 235. You are skipping the workplace, 236, 237, and you're going then straight to 238. So you're going to stop student book at 238. Home connections. This is all review. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this, you'll, you'll look at this. It's all review. 
123 through 126. Okay? Um, so, good luck with volume. As I always say, if you have a real question and your parents aren't around, um, you guys got my email somewhere. Um, just remember to use B Bauer and then at CVS and the rest of it at K12. Use that email, email me if you have a question, okay? Uh, every morning, I'm looking at my emails for a couple hours, okay? So that's it for May 6th, Studio B. We are done and out. See ya.